Hello everybody, it's Ole. So I'm gonna show you what I'm going to be doing right now. I have received this Rectus journal and I really wanted to make a start on it. And the inside cover has this area here and I'm going to um, fill this area and then I'm gonna do another page in this book today. Now I realize there are many pages in this book so I probably won't be doing Rectus Journal video with every single page, but sometimes I am going to do um, what I have to do for each, you know, follow the prompt on the video. And some days I'm just going to freely do however many pages I wanna do, and then I might share it with you guys. So we've had our dinner and now I am so excited to get this started. So when I opened the cover, it said this book belongs to, and then it says, write your name in white. Now, the only issue with that is that this was the only white pen that I have. And this is a Dilusions, um, what is it? Paint pen. And I bought this like a couple years ago and it really didn't work too good for me. So what I had to do was try to get it activated by pushing down because you had to shake it and then push it down, but too much ink was coming out. And so what I did was I had, a, I had to do a head start, so I did that. So this is all I've done. I wrote my name in white using this. And now it's dry so I can go over it if I wanted to. The next one says, write your name in color. So I have so many alphabet stickers that I can use up. I have had this sticker book for several years as well. And even though I try really hard to use it up, I still have these alphabets. So I'm going to use this. It says write your name. It says write, but as long as I do it in color, I don't think it matters. So I have this gold S sticker. So I'm gonna put that on there. And here is a O. So I'm gonna take this middle whole bit out and then I'm gonna stick it. I know you guys are gonna be seeing this upside down, but when I finish this bit, I will turn it around and show it to you guys, okay? L, I need an L. Where's the L? Please tell me there is an L. <laughs> yes, there is. Okay, so here is an L and then A. I'll try to use all the different colors because it says write in color. So, oh, but I don't want that middle hole to be in there. So I gotta take that bit off. And please get off my finger. Thank you. There we go. A. And then I'm gonna do E. I think I will do this E because I like this color. Okay, so I did my name in color. The next one says, write your name illegibly. Okay, so I'm just gonna use this unicorn pen that Michelle sent me, and I'm just gonna like do this, which is my signature. My, by the way, my signature doesn't look the same every time. <laughs> oh my goodness. Next one says, write your name in tiny letters. Okay, so I will do my best to write it tiny. And I'm gonna this time write my whole full name. Well, this is too tiny for me, but I'm gonna do my best using this pen. It's kind of memorable because Michelle gave me this pen and I'm doing the rectus journal that Michelle gave me. I love this pen, very fuzzy. Okay, next one says, write your name backward. So I will be looking at this and then writing it backwards, okay? So I might use a gold, um, gold, uh, what is this? Metallic marker. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the E. I'll just do capital, I reckon. Okay, and then an A, and then an L, and O. I'm gonna S. There you go. So my name becomes Elos. That's interesting. And then it says, write your name very faintly. How am I supposed to do that? I have no idea. Maybe with the pencil? Okay. 
Oh no, that's not faint. I'll try my best. I'm not putting much energy on it. Wow, this pencil must be really good, this Diego pencil. It writes so nicely. I'm trying to write it faint, but I can't, even though I'm holding it really lightly. Wow, and we've had this Diego pencil for how long? I don't know. I think we had this since Christopher was like, I don't know, seven, eight. That's like long, long time ago. Oh my goodness. Next one says, write your name using large letters. I can do that, but I'm not gonna write it. I'm going to find myself some big alphabets out of some stickers or something, okay? So I have a drawer next to me, like I'll point it to you, right here. So underneath this desk right here, there is a set of Ikea drawers. So I am going to grab some sticker book. Let's see. Oh, I have this Holy Jolly sticker book that I bought last year. Is it last year or the year before? Anyway, I did an online order and it came. And so from here, it's a Christmas sticker book that I just grabbed. I'm gonna see if there's any large letters that I can use to spell my name. Let me see. Okay, there's large numbers, but there's no large letters. So that's not really helping me. Okay, so I gotta put that back. I have this Maggie Home sticker book. Let me see if there's some large letters I can use out of here. Oh, here is a L and a O and a E. I need a S. S. <laughs> this is really fun, you know? Like, I'm really like, it's just gonna like help me think less. I realized that, um, Last, day, last week, I was just thinking too much. Um, I was actually thinking all sorts of things and giving myself headache. So this, I really needed to start on this journal. I need a S. Where is a S? There's A. Okay. There's no S's, people. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, here is a S. But I wonder if there's another S. Okay, I'll put my finger there just to... Oh, here. Here is an S and it's really big. But it's a sweet one. But you know what, kids? Well, you guys are not my kids. But that's what I say to my kids. You know what, kids? I'm just going to do this. I'm not going to care that I'm ruining the sweet part. I'm just going to have fun and get the S. And it's a really big letter S. And I'm happy with that. And I am going to use this giant O here. Whoa, they actually fall apart a bit. Okay, so there's an O. I need an L. I don't want to use all green for my letter. So I'm going to use this. So I'm going to use this love. Can you see? The love um, clear sticker. And I'm going to add this L onto here. S-O-L, now I need, oh, I can use this E as well. I need an A. I really need to find myself an A. Oh, it says here, B, but that's, that A is not very big. I want a big A. Let's try to find a big A. Hopefully this book has it. Let's see. Oh, that's too small. I want a big A. Uh, oh, hold on, no, that's kind of big, that A I just saw. Oh, that one's kind of big, so I'm just going to use this. So I'm going to have to go like this, cut it off. Okay, so I'm going to use this A. So, but I don't want all of these. And I don't want the middle, so I just do this. It just, these middle parts of the alphabets, they really, really drive me insane. And I just do that. Okay, so I'm just gonna do this. Okay, I've done it. I wrote my name in large letters. Well, I didn't technically write it with my finger, but that's okay. It says phone number and email, but I'm gonna do my email. Um, you guys know my email, so I'm just going to write it. 
So it's Enchanted, Enchanted by Craft at Outlook dot com. Okay, so that's done. But I really don't like how this bottom bit is quite blank. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab things from the sticker book and I'm going to stick it. So I love bows, so I'm going to add a bow there. And I love these um, shapes of gems, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to add this one here too. There we go. And some heart up here. I'm freely doing this. Like, I'm not... I haven't planned this in advance, and so I'm really liking this. This pink swan is really pretty. I think I'll put that next to my faint letters. And then I'm going to use... Let's see, is it, let's see if I can flick it and see if there's anything else that comes to me. I like this little teeny weeny heart, so I'm going to put that next to this gold heart. And I need something down here. I want to put something down there. I'm going to put this B. Oh, is it going to come out? I'm going to put B of light. And I'm going to put life is lovely. I love, I honestly love this sticker book so much. This is my second lot of this exact same sticker book. Because the first sticker book, I bought it here in Spotlight a um, couple years ago and then I got gift and then I finished using that sticker book and then I got given this entire sticker book again from Lou David and I thank her so very much okay so that page is done so I can share with you guys what I did I love that it looks really really great and it looks so fun I really really love that so this is what I want to do. I decided that this is the next page I want to do. It says color outside of the lines. Okay, I want to show you this. This is our color pencil that my kids have used at school. And at the end of the year, they give all of these to me. And then I put them in here. So these pencils have been like accumulating for so many years and we try to use this while um, coloring books but we never really get to fully you know use it all up and i feel like i want to buy some new ones sometimes but i don't because we still got all of this so i'm gonna just use these colors to color outside of the lines and also my kids they had um, some foil um, type of art craft kit that they did last year. And um, these were the remaining parts. And I said to them, don't chuck them out. Mommy can use it. You know, I like to save all sorts of crafty things. Or I, I'd like to think that I can use all the crafty things. So I have these to use as well. And when I saw this color outside of the lines, I thought, yeah, I'm going to add color to these pages. It doesn't mean I just have to color it. I mean, I'm going to color it, but I also want to add some of this. So I'm not wasting it. So I'm going to use some of this as well. And to do that, I have my double sided tape and I'm just going to freely cover some line like this. So I've got like some strips. Okay, I'm just going to do this. This is really, really fun. I'm just really going to enjoy this. I'm just going to add some more double-sided tape. And this is these bits. I'm just going to use my... I'm um, going to do this so that it really sticks onto the page. And then I'm just going to peel this off if it will come off. I'm going to peel that bit off. And then I'm going to do this, okay? I'm just going to do this. Look at that. Isn't that magical? Oh my gosh. I love this. So I've done some red. I'm going to add some down here. Oh my goodness. This is looking really, really good. Wow. This is so good. It's like such a good freedom thing. I'm not even thinking and I'm not even, I don't need, I'm not even going to care if I'm doing it pretty or not. Like, 
I'm just going to really enjoy the process. I'm just going to follow these prompts and really try to not think because sometimes I need to be like that, which I'm not very good at, so I'm going to learn. So, oh, that's nice. Oh, I like that pattern. That pattern is really nice. And then I have the green one as well. I guess I should cover all the sticky part, you know, so that my pages don't stick together. Okay, have I covered everything? Oh, that, that bit's still a bit sticky. I'm gonna do this. Oh my gosh, that's so nice. Wow, look at that. Wow, oh, there's some more bit I can do down here. That's sticky. Wow, that's really nice. Oh my goodness. See, I knew I could use those. I really knew, but I honestly didn't know how I was gonna use it, but now I really have used it. So that's really good. So, there's that. And I'm gonna add this color. I'm not even gonna think if I'm doing it in a beautiful color combo or not. I'm just gonna do this. Oh, I'm going to flatten it a bit like this. So you guys get, you guys are witnessing me wreck the journal. This is really fun. Oh my gosh. I think I have enough to use on some different pages. I just want to make sure that I am covering all of the stickiness. I'm going to quickly do that. Oh my gosh. And I'm thinking every time you guys want to watch my Rectus journal, you might need a cup of tea or coffee next to you to, um, so you're not too bored. So I don't think you will be bored because you're watching me wreck this journal. I think this is going to be fun. It says color outside of the line. So that's the line. So I'm just going to do this. And I really, really love this. This is a um, Crayola Twistable Rainbow range. And it comes with four different colors. Can you guys see that? It comes with four different colors. So when you're coloring, you get like this effect. Do you see? Oh my gosh, I love this. I love that I can just really do this. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm just going to grab any pencil out of this, this container here, okay? I'm just going to grab any color. I'm not even going to bother to match the color next to it, whatever. I'm just going to really scribble. And I'm going to really, really try to let go of all the unnecessary thinking I do. Oh my gosh, I did it too strong, I broke it. Wow. Next one, what color is this? Ooh, it's a navy color. Okay, and you know what? I don't even have to color it in the same direction. I can just scribble around like this. Okay, and then I'll try not to be too angry to the page. I feel like I was being a bit <laughs> angry, like doing it too, um, too strong. Next one, and I'm going to use, oh, I don't think I can do white. Oh no, that one's broken, so I can't do that one. Oh, here, I'll do this. Let me try to do it with my left hand. Let's see how good I am with left hand. Okay, this is going to create a really interesting pattern because I'm doing it with my left hand because I'm right-handed. This is difficult, man. Oh my gosh. Okay, I can't do this. This is really difficult. <laughs> I'm going to be here forever if I were coloring it with my left hand. Okay, I should not do that because that's going to make me frustrated and I'm not supposed to be frustrated doing this. Okay, so I'm just going to do this too. Oh my gosh, this is really fun. Wow. Okay, so I've done that color. Do this color. I think I might do some um, oval kind of scribble as well. Okay. Oh my gosh. My kids are gonna look at this page and they're gonna go, Mommy, are you okay? <laughs> Yep, that could happen. Oh, that's a nice color. I don't really like browns, really, but it's okay. But that's quite nice. It's like orangey brown. <sighs> I think this is really good to do in the evening. 
to sort of get you unwinding. Okay, so that's that. Let's see. Oh, this is a um I like these ones, the fiber castell ones. I love them. They are just so nice. Like I love fiber castell products. See, it's just so smooth, you know? Oh my goodness. It's just so smooth. It's there's a bit of a difference. Yeah. Because the schools, school usually gets us to buy the um, Stedler or some type of brand that you don't normally hear about. And I like to give my kids Faber Castell at least, or um, this one's not bad. This one's a big one. This is made in France. Wow, I didn't know that. I'm learning. Wow. Okay, so let's do this. I do like purple. My, when I was a kid, pink and purple used to be my favorite color. But then when I started paper crafting heavily, I started to really like pink and the gold and the sparkles and the iridescence and yeah. I mean, I still like purple, but it's not like my number one go-to. Oh my gosh, I love this. And I'm not gonna care if I go over to the next page by mistake. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Ooh, this is nice. I'm kind of going over the um, foil bit, but that's okay. Because this is my journal and I'm allowed to do whatever I want with it. It's called Wreck the Journal. Although I'm not purposely trying to wreck it. You know what I mean? So this is really, really fun. This is really, really good. Oh my gosh, I'm really, really loving this. Let's see, what color is this? Oh, this is another Faber Castell one. So it's got a, it's gonna be really smooth. Oh yeah, it is really smooth. And it does good coverage, doesn't it? Sure does. Oh, I really like the yellow against this color. Yeah, that's really nice. I like that. Oh, I like that. Almost like sunset color. Really nice. And here is a really interesting one. Oh, it, this is a made in Germany and it says Stedler. So this one has to be good quality too. Almost like a cherry color. Oh, I like that too. I do. I like this color a lot. I don't normally like red, but ever since COVID happened, I started liking all the colors in the rainbow. Like red, when I looked at red, I, it was, I was like trying to stay away from it and things like that. But ever since COVID happened, I just liked all the colors in the rainbow. And I just try to incorporate all of those beautiful colors a lot in my project. Not focusing on my favorite color. I don't like creating everything in pink. Although pink is my favorite, favorite color, I don't like just creating in pink. To me, that's a bit boring. So I don't really like doing that. I mean, if I try to incorporate more pink, I would try to use many different shades of pink instead of just um, using one type of pink. Oh, this side's getting nearly full. It doesn't have to be fully packed, packed, you know? Oh, and this one is like um, triangular shape because I bought this for Spencer when he was just starting um, primary school. I think primary school is elementary school in America, I think. And so it's like an easier grip for the kids. It's easy grip for me as well. I like it. Okay, what, what other color have we got here? Oh, this one needs sharpening, but let me see if I can get some out before it runs out. That's about it. I need to sharpen that. So let's put that down. And here, I'm gonna do this side. Oh, I really love all of these colors. I really do. Mm. It's really, really nice. And this one here. Oh, I'm not sure about the this color. Oh, this one's actually nice. See, sometimes um, when you cut, you don't know the true color until you start using it. Yeah, this one's quite nice. I like it. 
Oh, and I like how I am coloring the middle part of the book like that. It's actually helping me create that nice pattern down there. So that's really nice. And I don't know what color this is. Some kind of violet. Oh, it's a dark purple. I like that. That's nice too. Oh, I like how this feels. Okay, next. Oh, this is a uh, brown, but it looks like chocolate. I'm gonna do some down here. I'm gonna turn it around and do some up here. Oh, it's so smooth. I love Fiber Castell things. Honestly, I really, really do. It's just such a good quality, smooth thing. Oh yeah, this is definitely chocolate color. I love that. I love chocolate. I don't like all the chocolate. I, I'm very picky. I like um, chocolates with interesting things inside it. Oh my gosh, I really do. Yeah. I don't really love milk chocolate. I prefer darker chocolate, but I don't want it to be dark, dark. Like I want it to have like something in there that's a bit crunchy, you know, or caramel, like some toasty taste kind of thing. Oh, and this is really, really adorable. This is a Fiber Castell one. Oh my gosh. And it's got like ladybug print. Can you see? It's got this ladybug print and, oh, this brings back memory. Like I bought this for Spencer when he was starting school. See, it's another one of those triangular one and it's got the ladybug pattern on there. I think the whole pack had different, oh, here's another one. See this, this one's a turtle one. Oh my gosh, I love that. So nice, I love this. Okay, I need to use some of this here. Ooh, that's really nice, really, really nice. Okay, have I covered everywhere? I think so, pretty much have. Oh my gosh, wow. I finished, you guys. There, it says color outside of the lines and that's what I did. Look, thanks for being here. I'm excited to find some more things to do with you guys next time. Bye and have a wonderful weekend, everyone.